Hey everyone, it's me again, just your ordinary Potter girl. And in today's video, we are gonna do Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban book quiz part 2. So I already did a Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban book quiz. A one that was quite easy and this one is going to be a bit more challenging. So this is the medium edition. If you enjoyed the first quiz and you want to have a bit more difficult questions, then this is the right video for you. If you want to get even harder questions, then just wait for my next video, which is going to be Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban quiz, but the hard edition that just super Harry Potter fans will be able to solve. Okay guys, so in case you haven't ever watched a quiz video of me, I'm quickly going to explain the rules to you. You're gonna get 10 different questions and for each question there will be possible answers. If you get the question right without the possible answers then you get 2 points and if you have to use the possible answers but still get the question right you're still gonna get 1 point. I already did all different kinds of quiz videos so I'm going to leave a link for these videos at the end of the video but also you can click the link that is now visible on the top right corner that will also bring you to that playlist but yeah so just let's start with this video the first question is name the new subjects that harry has in year three is it a astronomy and defense against the dark arts which is taught by professor lupin or is it b muggle studies and astronomy or is it c care of magical creatures taught by hagrid and divination okay so i'm going to tell you the correct answer is c his new subjects are care of magical creatures and divination. The other subjects here are also subjects at Hogwarts, but for example Muggle Studies is a subject that out of Ron, Hermione and Harry, only Hermione takes, but not Harry and Ron. Moving on to question number two, which is who wins the Quidditch Cup in Harry's third year? Was it A. Gryffindor, B. Slytherin, or C. Ravenclaw. And the correct answer is Gryffindor. Gryffindor won the Quidditch Cup in Harry's third year, which was also Oliver Wood's last year, so it was very good for him that they won the Quidditch Cup finally during his last year at school. Okay guys, moving on to question number three, which is who hides Percy's head boy bat when they are all staying in the leaky cauldron? Was it A. Ron, B. Ginny, or C. Fred and George? Okay guys, so who is the most likely person to do this? Or who are the most likely persons to do this? Of course, Fred and George hit his bat in the third year when they were all in the leaky cauldron. And Percy was furious and suspected that Ron did it. But yeah, of course, Fred and George did it. Moving on to question number four, which is, what does Harry mistake Sirius in his Animagus form for? A. A bear. B the Grim or C a cat okay so the correct answer is B the Grim he's scared of the Grim and he mistakes Sirius in his Animagus form for the Grim and because of that is then even more scared of the Grim moving on to question number five which is what do you have to do to call the night bus is it a shout I need a transport or B dig out your wand hand or is it C jump three times okay so the correct answer is you have to stick out your wand hand moving on to question number six we are already halfway through the quiz and the question is against which team is Gryffindor's first Quidditch match at Hogwarts in year three. Is it A. Ravenclaw, B. Slytherin or C. Hufflepuff? 
Okay, so the correct answer is there are first matches against Hufflepuff because it is actually scheduled to be against Slytherin and they train all these different techniques to play against Slytherin. But then there is a very bad weather forecast and Flynn says, yeah, well, our seeker is still injured because of the incident with Buckbeak and Malfoy. And because of that, they play against Hufflepuff. And this is actually the match where the Dementors appear. And because of that, Gryffindor loses. Moving on to question number seven, which is, what do you have to say in order to be able to read the Marauders map? This is my attempt to draw the Marauders map. I know it's not pretty good, but it was fun to make, yeah. Okay, so do you remember what you have to say? Fred and George Weasley gave Harry the Marauders map in his third year, but what do you have to say in order to read it? Is it A, I solemnly swear I want to do bad things? Or is it B, I promise I am up to no good? Or is it C, I solemnly swear I am up to no good? And the answer is, it is C, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Moving on to question number eight. We are already getting close to the end now. Question number eight is, who is Slytherin's seeker in Harry's third year? Is it A, Marcus Flint, B, Draco Malfoy, or C, Vincent Krabby? And the answer is, it is Draco Malfoy, who is Slytherin's seeker in Harry's third year. He actually enters the team in Harry's second year, and then, yeah, he's their seeker. Moving on to question number nine. This is already our second to last question. I hope you have fun in this quiz, and yeah, keep playing until the end. Question number nine is, in what order do the names of the four Marauders appear on the map? Here we actually have Harry with his little Marudas map. This is a Funko Pop from the third year. And here you can see that he has a little Marudas map in his hand. Okay, so the different possibilities are... Is it A. Wormtail, Mooney, Padfoot and Prongs? Is it B. Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot and Prongs? Or is it C. Padfoot, Wormtail, Mooney and Prongs? And I'm going to show you the answer. It is indeed Mooney, Warmtail, Padfoot and Prongs are proud to present the Marudas map. I hope you got that one right. I actually think that you think that is an easy question, but when you hear the different possible answers, then you could easily be quite confused. Okay guys, so we already have reached our last question. I hope you enjoyed this quiz so far, and here comes question number 10. A sign on the night bus tells passengers all destinations but nothing outside the UK, underground or underwater. Okay guys, I'm going to show you. Here we have the little sign, and I don't know if you can see, but it says All destinations, nothing underwater. Okay guys, so this is sadly the end of this quiz. If you enjoyed it, then also check out my other quizzes on this channel. I have a whole playlist dedicated to Harry Potter. I already did a Harry Potter quiz in general. I did an easy version for the Prisoner of Azkaban, but I'm also going to do an even harder one in the future. I do all kinds of different videos on here, all different bookish videos, for example, reviews, hauls, TBRs, wrap-ups, all this kind of stuff, but also special Harry Potter videos. For example, I did one tips and tricks for a Harry Potter movie marathon. I did reviews on the special bonus books, as for example, Footage Through the Ages, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, or the special house editions. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, subscribe to my channel if you would like to, or click the little bell icon and you will be notified every time I post a new video and you can directly check it out. How great! So guys, thanks so much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. 
stay tuned on this channel for more bookish and harry potter videos have fun and i will see you next time bye guys mm -hmm.